Yo, what's up guys, welcome back. Today, we are looking at a very special puzzle, very unique and rare puzzle that I found online, which I'm super stoked uh, to be able to present to you today. Uh, by the way, thank you for everybody who checked out yesterday's video. We posted some, some street magic, if you will, went out and performed some magic, and a lot of you guys uh, liked that by the comments, so appreciate that very much. But today's Wednesday, and we're talking about a puzzle. I came across some very rare puzzles. I'll be featuring a few of them in the coming weeks. Today, I'm very excited to be featuring this one. This is known as the Pac-Man puzzle by a puzzle maker by the name of Gary Foshi. Now I've been trying to hunt down Gary's metal puzzles because these are the type of puzzles that I like. Very reminiscent of Will Strebos and sort of the cnc and aluminum and steel puzzles. I really like those and I think they're really intricate. So I picked this one up online, found it, very happy to have found it and uh, to finally be able to play around with it. It comes in this nice purple little satchel uh, that you get and this is kind of his trademark when it comes to his puzzles. The whole point of this puzzle is to make all the pieces that are protruding fit inside of this cube without any protruding edges. Probably somewhere around a level 9 or 10 so we're definitely gonna have some fun trying to solve it. I don't know very much about Gary Foshi but I've heard that his puzzles are pretty insane. This one was featured at the IPP in the year 2000 in California and that's all I got to go on so pretty stoked. Uh, Hopefully we get this done today and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. So without any further ado, let's get into solving the Pac-Man cube. There we go. Uh, this is it, the Pac-Man puzzle by Gary Foshi. You know, this one I think from the year 2000, so almost 20 years old when you think about it, which is quite a while. So the whole point here, as I mentioned, is to take uh, to make sure everything fits within this cube, including this little screw here, this little bolt. And I figured you can unscrew it because I've been toying around with it a little bit. So that has to come out. Before we do that though, my God, I almost forgot. Timer. I'm set up a little bit close as well because I want you guys to see everything going on as opposed to having it, you know, a lot farther away. So first things first, here we go. So now we have this extra tool. Let's see if we can place this extra tool somewhere. Here we need like an Allen key to get that out. Uh, this would fit perfectly in here, it seems. Uh, but there is a rod, as you can see, like another screw. So I'm guessing something has to come out. Hmm. There does not seem to be anything moving. You can't hear anything on the inside. <laughs> There's not much to look at here. Literally a solid cube. Conundrum. Well, how does this work? I'm trying to see if anything's magnetized. So that rod looks like it might be the same rod here. Well, how does one pop that out? Probably being held in place by this bolt. So I need a tool to get that out, but where's my tool? Hmm. My goodness. This is one of those puzzles where you're left staring at it without any indication of where to go next, which is uh, somewhat delightful, mostly frustrating. Seems to be a pin on the inside of that, like on the very bottom of that, like a little pin that I, I can be able to push. Wait, maybe there's more to this. Sometimes there's more to the tools than meets the eye. Definitely not. Ow. What, like, what would you do in this situation is what I'm asking. Okay. Spin it. Blowing it. No, that doesn't do anything except give me a headache and make me dizzy. There are no moving parts. I can't hear anything. Oh, I don't want to be here for an hour just staring at this. Something's got to give. Something's got to give. I need one of those eureka moments right now. Where your brain just like, oh. Try this. For those of you wondering, I'm just vigorously shaking this thing in front of my ear. Does this thing move at all? No, it seems to be jammed there. It doesn't seem to move at all. Again, it's probably being held by this thing. Maybe just push this thing in. There really isn't anything else, is there? No seams. Hmm. Just kind of getting nowhere with this thing right now. I need to get this out. I need a tool to get that out. Let's see what this says here. IPP 20, August 2000, Pac-Man by Gary Foshi. Repack all the parts of the cube into the cube. No part may extend beyond the surface of any side of the cube. Coordinates. No idea what that means. Are there any? Oh. Oh my God, how sn oh. Oh, look at this in here. Look. 
This is absolutely diabolical. There was a hidden tool in the ba if I would have spent hours on this thing just trying to do that. A secret, it's a secret compartment within the bag. Okay. All right, we're <laughs> God damn. All right. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so this comes out. This comes out. Brilliant. Perfect. Now we have to re-put everything back, right? No. Well, if I put that in, then that can't fit. Oh, I see. We're we're in another dilemma. Is there something else here? No. Now I have to repack everything. I see. So that was like one part of the puzzle, and this is the another. And this is the other part that uh, is a lot more tricky. Okay. Stuck protruded. Okay. So this has to go here, right? That's the only place that that fits. By doing that, that doesn't fit. And it doesn't fit here. And it doesn't fit. Oh, it fits there, right. But then there's no room for this. Okay, so I see the hole where that goes. That's the only place that that'll fit other than uh, here. It goes there, I'm blocking the hole there. Right, because then we'll be able to fit that in. What if I just put this in the bag and then everything will be solved, huh? If I just like, huh? That's cheating, I'm sure. Oh, that fits all the way. But now this doesn't fit. That's gonna get stuck, isn't it? What would you guys do? So it's a good sign that that fits in the end because that allows this piece to go all the way in with that being flush still. Look at every piece. <clears throat> Always left with one bolt. Ha. Hmm. I don't know if the inside of this thing doesn't really help me. That one would never fit in there anyways. There's definitely something I'm missing here. There's definitely something, maybe it's obvious to you guys, I don't know. There's something up. Maybe there's an extra latch that opens. It honestly looks exactly what it looks like. There's no extra, on the insides, there's no extra tunnels or latches or secret doors. It's pretty much exactly what it looks like here. Uh, there's one hole that goes all the way through to allow that rod. This one uh, goes down pretty deep. This one as well. And then there's this one here. This is the only one that has nothing to do with anything. That doesn't accomplish anything, but it's fun. 25 minutes, okay. I'm trying to look at it practically, but there's it's so simple, there's nothing else. There doesn't seem to be anything else in this. One of these things needs to come apart for this to make sense, but it's not the case. You know what it is? There's probably something here that I need to... Uh... I would have heard something by now if there was a moving part. Testing for magnets. <sighs> Everything is futile. I can't fathom how there would be something other than what it is. <laughs> Ever try explaining a puzzle to someone? <laughs> so difficult. If that one could drop lower, that would be cool. Why would it just stop here though? Why would it stop midway? Okay, so I'm absolutely getting nowhere. I've reverted back to looking at this bag. And the only other thing I can see is this. I don't know what this means. It's, well, I know what it means. It's coordinates, but coordinates for what? I don't know, let's Google it, I guess. Option shift eight for degrees. Okay, okay, is there a space there? Seems to be a space, space. I'd be really surprised if this works. This is like, I'm running out of options. Um, it's giving me the coordinates for this place, Washington, in Washington. Satellite, let's take a satellite view. Okay, here we are. Maybe the mailbox here has something to do with it. 26442. I don't understand what that means. Why? <laughs> what is happening? Why am I doing this right now? How is that a solution? But how does that help me solve this puzzle? Why? This doesn't make sense. Did they even have Google Maps in the year 2000? Yeah, I'm not any 
further. I mean, I don't think those coordinates do anything. Maybe they give me some type of clue or something. I just, I mean, I think it's pretty random. I don't know why you would throw that in there just to throw me off. Still think there's an extra piece here somewhere. And I've been trying to unscrew these screws for a while. Maybe using this tool. I would really like this to come apart. Oh, what if, th oh my God, watch this. I am guarantee you this is it. <laughs> okay, maybe not. And there we go, boom. I knew it. God, I knew it. I'm an hour in. Jeez, look at this thing. Oh, that is diabolical. So what does that do for me? What does that do for me? Oh, it goes in further. Right. Oh, that's what it, whoop. So now that, yep, should fit in flush. This should fit in here. This should fit in here. I think I actually got it. This one in there. Et voila, solved. 54 minutes. All the sides are now flush. Nothing is protruding. Nothing is protruding and this puzzle is now complete. Woo, that was clever. Okay. You know what? I should have figured that out a lot sooner. I knew that this tool, I, I had a feeling it came apart because there was a seam. And if you look at um, uh, the Danlock puzzle, the Danlock B, uh, one of the main things is there was an extra tool and it was hidden within the lock and it had kind of the similar mechanism to this except it unscrewed backwards. Uh, which was kind of tricky. I should have just resorted back to looking at the pieces that I had instead of trying to make them fit and bouncing my head against the wall. Uh, wow, super clever. Really, really, really great. Uh, let's put this back together now. So this comes out. Let's get this guy out of here. This comes out of there. This comes out of here. Now this one you wanna go back in here. Wow, I'm actually thoroughly impressed with this puzzle. I didn't think it would be this much fun. You know, looking at it from the outside, you kind of feel like, oh, there's not much going on. Uh, but those are kind of the funnest puzzles when you've got nothing to go on. <laughs> Meanwhile, here I'm Googling coordinates. I don't even know what the hell this is for. Uh, but yeah, probably wasted a good 15 minutes just trying to do that. Uh, so that goes in there. This goes back on top. That's where that started. This goes back in here. Gary Foshi. Bit of a mad genius. I've got, uh, I've got another two. I've got two other of his puzzles that are similar and very tricky and uh, that I'm going to be solving soon. Stay tuned for that. This goes back into here. I really love the fact that there was an Easter egg and that like the bag became a part of the puzzle. Like <laughs> how to trick puzzle solvers. You really gotta be clever. It goes in here, that goes back in there. And this is now solved. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that was the Pac-Man cube. It threw me for a loop, let me tell you. I did not expect to be Googling coordinates on Google Maps. No idea why that was in there. Uh, maybe some inside joke between puzzlers. I didn't find it very funny. I thought it was just terrible. I've never typed in coordinates into a computer. I don't know if you have, but it's a puzzle in its own. So that being said, aside from that, I thought it was genius, you know. Um, like I said, it reminded me of the Danlock B where you had to unscrew parts of it to discover new tools that reached new depths inside this puzzle, which is really cool. It took me upwards of about an hour, which is uh, which is pretty decent for a puzzle. I mean, that, that means it's pretty difficult. I'm glad I didn't have to spend the whole day on it. Also, on a last note, very last note, I have assembled a massive collection of Hanayama puzzles, literally every Hanayama puzzle. And I'm looking to feature those on, uh, on maybe on the weekend and just show you guys maybe some basic level one puzzles for beginner puzzlers or anything. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know if that's something you guys wanna see. I'll put that together for you. But uh, thanks for watching. Like this video, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video. Peace. Camera's over there. Whatever, you get it. Bye.